Not Ramnar. In Swedish folklore, not Ramnar or Night Ravens, singular not Ram, are the ghosts of those that were not buried properly, committed suicides, died due to certain diseases, or dead unbaptized children that were still buried in hollow ground, despite not being allowed to. By Swedish Protestant Christian tradition, neither unbaptized children nor those that died of suicide or certain diseases, especially sexually transmitted diseases, were allowed to be buried in hollowed ground. But for those people that were buried despite these rules, they were believed to appear in bird form as black ravens around graveyards and only appear at night and then usually during weekends and holidays. An Atram is said to fly in the air in the shape of a raven and will try to disturb any visitors to the graves or the churches that are nearby the graves. The thing that identifies a Natram from an ordinary raven are that they are either lacking eyes like a living raven or have red glowing eyes, which if looked into will cause misfortune and at worst death, causing illness and disease if looked at. Also, Natramnar have a preference to attack and hurt pregnant women and small children, and Natramnar are said to emit a creaking sound that never ceases. Indeed, those that hear the sound may hear it for eternity afterwards, as a constant whisper or screeching sound that will never go away, unless countered by regular prayers to God each day for the rest of one's life. This will not cure the curse, but simply stop it temporarily according to legends about this creature. To stop the creature itself, there existed some methods. One of the first methods was to create a Swedish church grim that will chase away the Natram. The church grim was created through burying an animal on church ground. Oh, oh I'm here to mess up some matter. More information about the church grim is accessible in another video. Please watch that video after this video. Another alternative to creating a Swedish church grim that would chase away Natramnar is to exorcise it through prayer and or to dig up the buried corpses of those suspected to have returned to life as Natramnar, night ravens, and to dump them somewhere far away from the church, usually in a river as water would purify the corpses, or into an abandoned mine shaft, or to burn the corpses as fire would also purify the bodies. The reasons behind the myths around the Natramnar are that they are connected very much to Christianity and upholding of Christian beliefs and holiness, as Natramnar are the returning spirits of people that were not buried properly, or people that shouldn't have been buried in holy ground but were buried in holy ground. And the Natramnar can be viewed as a way to scare people into upholding the holiness of these beliefs upholding these traditions. The Natramnar also serve as a warning example, as the promiscuity that makes you risk the sexual diseases that will turn you into a Natram when you die from them, and suicide are considered sins in Christian tradition. But there can exist other reasons for the beliefs in Natramnar in the Night Ravens. Reasons that are far older than the Christianization of the Scandinavian peninsula. You have references to ravens and spirits of the dead being connected that can be seen in the memory rune stone of Järsberg from the 6th century and the sound aspect of Nightrennar of them causing this continuously reoccurring sound could be connected to hearing injuries such as tinnitus which can cause similar issues of reoccurring whispering sounds in the ears as the Natramnar are said to be extremely loud birds and the ability of causing disease and death of the Natramnar could be connected to graveyards and the corpses there as corpses are kind of representing death and ravens are drawn to corpses as they are often scavengers and corpses if they died due to disease which is often the case of Natramnar when it isn't due to suicide or due to having been buried and not baptized and if the people die due to disease the corpses can still be infectious and cause disease and thus spread disease and thus as ravens were close to these corpses and people got sick also when they were close to these corpses, the association was created between disease and Natramnar, as people would think that these ordinary black ravens were the returning evil spirits of the dead that were causing this disease rather than the corpses being infectious. 
And this was the secular explanation for the belief in this entity that mostly exists in the folklore of South Sweden. And I hope you have liked this video about this rather spooky evil bird ghost. Please do subscribe as it would help the channel spread awareness about the humanities. Stärkobel kan att inte